that treatment for cancer like chemotherapy and radiotherapy can render our patients sterile and so they are menopause after that treatment especially if they have bone marrow transplantation. So our goal here is to help these patients to have a pregnancy even though they have received uh, chemotherapy. Once a patient is cured from her cancer, she is menopause, she can come back to have her tissue transplanted. And that's what we do in clinics. We tow the tissue and we go for transplantation. After transplantation, we lose a lot of follicles because it takes five days for the tissue to be revascularized. So um, we have a project uh, ongoing with Dr. Manavella on stem cells. He could demonstrate that when he transplanted adipose derived stem cells in a fibrin matrix, two weeks before the transplantation of ovarian tissue, he can prepare very well the grafting site, stimulating thereby neoangiogenesis and more rapid revascularization of ovarian tissue. So this decreases the follicle loss that we have in the grafted tissue. The other project in our lab is the artificial ovary. The aim of that is to transplant only the follicles for the patient who have a risk of uh, transplanting malignant cells together with the tissue, which is the case for leukemic patients, for instance. When we first conceived the idea of the artificial ovary, we initially thought we need uh, a three-dimensional matrix, put the isolated follicles inside and transplant to the patient. But while we were working on this, we learned that it's much more complex because human follicles, they are very sensitive to the environment. So what we need is much more than just a three-dimensional matrix. We need something that will uh, have crosstalk with the follicles. So the matrix not only sustain physically the follicles, but also give some clues for the follicles to survive. And we also learned that we need to put the cells together with the follicles because uh, the cells from the ovary are responsible for, for the activation and growth. So we learned in the last years that the artificial ovary is a very complex structure where we have biochemical signaling, biological properties like the cells and uh, support matrix. The development of an artificial ovary is very challenging because we need to mimic the natural organ. 